your first Alert 5 weather. Well, another summer day and another round of thunderstorms firing up in the higher elevations. Anything along I-25 and westward is where the action is right now. And a good one actually moving north towards Denver at this hour. But you notice on the eastern plains, things are fairly quiet at this hour. But we do want to take you down here towards uh, northeastern Costilla County where there's a flash flood warning in this outlined area in red here. And radar indicated over just the last 30 minutes, over half an inch of rain is falling. So they're anticipating a little bit of flooding here over the next couple of hours. And this is good until 630. So be aware if you guys are in this area towards Fort Gallen, Russell and out towards uh, I believe that's Condo right there. So just be aware this is also affecting potentially the Spring Hill burn scar. So we'll be watching this here over the next couple of hours. Now moving up further along I-25 on this side of the wet mountains and uh, the Sangre de Cristos. We're looking at a thunderstorm here in Colorado City. A lot of lightning associated with this one and this is moving up towards your direction up along I-25. Another thunderstorm up towards Penrose and this is just developed here over the last couple of frames. So we're going to call that the last 15, 20 minutes or so here in Penrose. And you can see the lightning strikes associated with this one, but an even heavier thunderstorm here now starting to pull north of Cripple Creek, but the lightning is still moving up towards northern Taylor County at this hour. Colorado Springs, we are in the clear in terms of rain at this particular point in time, but you notice here on the live cam, you can actually see here's Pikes Peak and here's that thunderstorm uh, as we look west towards Taylor County at this hour. Current temperature is 87 degrees, winds out of the east at three miles an hour down towards Pueblo, 98. You wouldn't think so with a shot like this and the mostly cloudy skies, but still those temperatures are holding pretty strong at this hour. And check out these numbers out on the eastern plains. Hundreds now for La Junta and Lamar, where Springfield is at 93 degrees. Lyman is also at 93. 72 for Monument. You notice Woodland Park were cooler at 59 degrees at this hour, thanks to those thunderstorms moving through the higher elevations. So here's that flare up once again. The eastern plains are quiet for the most part, but again, we continue to watch where where this moisture is coming from and it's coming out of the south down towards the Pacific. It's not quite a monsoonal flow, but the way the axis is tilted with the jet stream area of low pressure off the west coast. Here's the jet stream right north that opens up the gates here and allows moisture to move into the four corners area. And this is going to continue to saturate the environment for not only tonight, but for tomorrow, and that's going to yeah, give us even a better shot of thunderstorms by the time we get towards Monday, and we're talking pretty widespread across southern Colorado. Here's the way it looks on the bigger picture. A stationary front to the north, and what's going to happen is, as it is just by the name of it, stationary for the most part, meanders a little bit. As it sinks south just a little on Monday, a dry line will develop, and this is where we're looking for the showers and thunderstorms, the heaviest to develop on the eastern plains, but it's also going to affect us on I-20 as well as the eastern plains. So here's the forecast for tonight. We're going to call this mostly cloudy conditions. Those thunderstorms will come to an end once again by around 10 p.m. And then we're going to be looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies tomorrow morning on your Monday. The clouds will be with us for most of the day. The showers and thunderstorms will start to develop right around lunchtime. And yet again, here comes another round of thunderstorms, possibly even along I-25 right as early as 3, 4 o'clock. And then they'll really start to flare up here on the eastern plains along the Arkansas River Valley. And this is that dry line that's really going to ignite those thunderstorms come tomorrow. Also bring us down a little bit in our temperatures. Check out some of these seven day forecasts here. We're looking at an afternoon high of 82 degrees in Colorado Springs for tomorrow. Impact of two on the storm scale, mostly due to the chances and the widespread activity. Still looking at quite a bit of lightning with all of these, as well as some gusty winds with these thunderstorms. That's going to give us the best chance. By the time we get back towards Tuesday and Wednesday, we start to decrease the chances each of the next couple of days with respect to thunderstorms, increasing the temperatures as well. And then we're going to start to clear things out. That's what we want to see on the 4th of July. A very nice day, mostly clear out towards Canyon City with a high of 93 on your 4th of July. But then watch Friday, Saturday and Sunday. A fresh cold front moves in from Canada, drops down our temperatures. The timing of it is still suspect at this hour, and we're going to be watching some of those thunderstorms to develop. We call that second, third day scenario, where once a front moves through, we actually have more of an upslope effect, which can develop some of those thunderstorms. So 